Hey, what's going on? I'm A Dub from DXLE Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So, Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City has a big reason to celebrate, and not just because of its 10th anniversary. According to chart data, Kendrick's major label debut has now spent a full 10 years on the Billboard 200, becoming the first hip hop studio album to achieve the feat. The project has extended its lead as the longest charting hip hop studio album in Billboard history, a title it has held since 2019 when it surpassed Eminem's The Eminem Show. Good Kid Mad City occupies the number 46 spot on the most recent edition of the Billboard 200 as one of three albums from the Compton native at the chart alongside this year's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, number 26, and 2017's Pulitzer Prize winning Damn, number 63. Within hip hop, its 520 weeks on the chart is eclipsed only by Eminem's Curtain Call, technically a compilation, not a studio album, which is charted for over 600 weeks, roughly 11 years and 6 months. Released on October 22, 2012 via Top Dog Entertainment, Interscope, and Aftermath, Good Kid Mad City made a huge splash upon its arrival and was deemed an instant classic by some. Home to hits like Swimming Pools, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe, and Backseat Freestyle, the Coming of Age album debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 after selling 242,000 copies in its first week. It also yielded multiple nominations at the 2014 Grammy Awards, where it lost out to Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's The Heist in the Best Rap Album category. Good Kid Mad City's popularity has only endured, particularly among vinyl collectors. Last year, it reigned supreme as the highest selling rap album on the format, having shifted 194,000 units in 2021 alone. The album has since been certified triple platinum by the RIAA, commemorating at least 3 million sales in the US. Most recently, Good Kid Mad City was crowned the greatest concept album of all time by Rolling Stone, ahead of imaginative efforts from the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Pink Floyd's The Wall, and Raekwon's Only Built for Cuban Links. We all know Good Kid Mad City is a classic album, but what was your favorite song on the album? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.